Would Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift's new boyfriend, be able to fend off all of her ex-boyfriends all at once? That's what I'm here to figure out because no one else is going to ask that question except for me. My name is Danny Padilla, in case you've never seen me before, which is totally fine. Um, I am going to embark on a new experience in the video game world. Apologies if it's a little messy at first. So how this is going to work is that Travis Kelsey and the Chiefs in general are going to be playing against the Detroit Lions, and obviously they, they're going to suck. They're going to suck because they're all just a bunch of scrubs who are just put into a Madden game. Now, I'm going to be throwing the ball almost exclusively to Travis Kelsey, basically, but here's what makes it interesting. So, if at any point, the Lions, aka the ex-boyfriends, ever stop the Chiefs on their drive and cause them to get to fourth down, they lose this challenge. So, basically, just can they get a stop at all throughout the course of this game where I'm doing nine-minute quarters? All right, let's get into these rosters. Let me show you what I did. I went through a ton of effort to get this done. Um, oh, my lord, geez. This is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, let us check out these lineups. All right, so first we have, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs. This is the team that Travis Kelsey, of course, plays for. Here he is right here. He is an X Factor, which means that he is just absurdly good and has special abilities. He's also a 99 overall, which is already just insane. Taylor Swift just happened to date somebody who's straight up the best possible overall, like, stat line you could possibly have in Madden. Good for her and good for him. So, Travis, mother freaking Kelsey, look at this sexy, sexy man. Number 87, 99 overall. Um, um, he is a 99 vertical threat, 98 possession, 85 blocking tight end. Of course, that's not his thing. But here's where it gets fun. I've teamed him up with a bunch of like Taylor Swift nuggets, uh, if you will. Uh, check this shit out. I have renamed every single one of these complimentary players uh, based on an album title of Taylor's. Of course, you've got Fearless. You've got Speak Now, Red, 89, which is 1989. You can't do numbers. Uh, Reputation. Um, here, uh, you also have uh, Self Titled, Midnight's, Folklore, Lover. And uh, over here, you have Evermore. Now, here's where it gets interesting. All of these players, they their overalls are based entirely on the pitchfork rating of those albums of Taylor Swift's very weird. I and I know, but check this out. At left tackle, we have Donovan Fearless. Um, I just just their last names. I changed. I didn't want to do too much here. Um, he is an 81 because 8.1 is what the uh, rating was on Pitchfork. At left guard, we have Joe Speak Now. Um, <laughs> so stupid. Um, 8.2. Why have I spent so much time doing this in the last like week? I've been prepping this for no reason. I just thought go big or go home, you know. All right, here we go. At center, this is our best offensive line. We got Creed Red. Creed Red, everybody, is a 90 overall because it was a 9.0. So that's what we gave him. And at right guard, we have Trey 89, of course, being 1989. I changed his number to 89 just to kind of reference that. Obviously, you can't put numbers in for people's last names. So yeah, and 1989 wouldn't fit. 7.7. 7, uh, therefore, he is a 77 overall. And last but not least, with a whopping 6.5, we have Jawan Reputation. I'll, I'll, I mean, in my opinion, too, I did not personally like Reputation. So it is seen as, I think, a lot of people's least favorite Taylor Swift album. <laughs> It's so funny because I know these actual players' names. This is Kadarius Tony, but now it's Kadarius Folklore. He is an 81 because Folklore has an 8.1. Uh, actually, I think he's an 80, um, but there's a temporary boost, so he's an 8. So Folklore was an 8, like an 8.0 flat. So silly. At wide receiver 2, we have Rishi Evermore is a 79, so 7.9 on a, a, a forklift. Uh, pitchfork. That's what it is. Wide receiver three. We have Marquez Lover, a 7.2, 72, uh, playing up to a 72. So he's actually a 71, 7.1. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so at running back, we have Isaiah Midnight's. Um, <laughs> Uh, he's a 70 overall because Midnight's got a 7.0. Uh, I think a little low, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we put him in as. And then, of course, the uh, tight end two is Max Self-Titled because uh, I didn't want to just put Taylor Swift as his last name. So Self-Titled is what it is. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a 6.7. So he's a 67. Now, you might have been seeing this the whole time, but I wanted to wait till the very end. Obviously, this super does not look like Taylor Swift. <laughs> but instead of Patrick Mahomes, we have Taylor Swift throwing him the ball. Taylor Swift is a 99 overall of every single archetype type. Taylor Swift has a 99 of every single stat. So one thing you'll notice is I try to get all of the uh, heights and weights to be exactly what the people's heights and weights are in real life. Uh, Taylor Swift apparently is 5'11", according to whatever site I saw. And um, she's under 160, but I can't go under 160. And clearly, I cannot make this person look like Taylor Swift. Still like a jacked dude, essentially, with long hair. But age 33. Um, but yes, a 99 overall and everything wearing number 22, because I am feeling 22. But I'm actually 30. Fuck that. Now, here's where gets really, really fun. I present to you the defense filled entirely with Taylor Swift's exes. Where do I begin? Oh my gosh. Of course, Taylor has like a bit of a detailed romantic life. I couldn't put all of them in here, funnily enough, and I wanted to avoid certain people for controversial reasons. But uh, these are all the people I included. Check this shit out. At free safety, we have none other than Joe Alwyn, her boyfriend of like six years. Um, he is 
six one and one seventy eight is what I got from the, uh, the internet. Age thirty three. Um, everyone's going to have been to Abilene Christian because I did not care about the colleges. Didn't want to have to deal with that. Now he is a forty seven overall. All these players are going to be low overalls because obviously none of them would be good in the actual National Football League. Over at strong safety, we have Zach Efron looking sexy as ever. I tried my best to get these looks to be close ish to how they actually look, but obviously it's going to be impossible and you can't fully customize any of these individual players. Zach Efron is 5'9", 175, according to whatever I looked at, uh, 36, and uh, he's a 47 overall as well. Supposedly, Taylor and Zach dated during the uh, promotion of the Lorax in like 2012. That's what I read. So, of course, I'm going to include him. That that counts. At cornerback one, we have Lucas Till coming in at a 48 overall, 49 with the temporary morale boost. He is 5'9", 170 is what I read, um, age 33, I think. For anyone who doesn't know Lucas Till, he was the guy in the You Belong With Me video, and I guess they dated shortly afterward for like a little bit. I don't know. Counts. At cornerback two, weighing in at 5'7", 160, we have Joe Jonas going through his own shit right now with the Sophie Turner divorce. Anyway, he is a 44 overall corner. Um, obviously, short dude, this is as close to Joe as I could possibly get. Not going to worry about it. Who cares? They did it for a little while. I don't even remember when, but I'm sure it was kind of earlier on. This whole video was like a complete test of my Taylor Swift knowledge. I need to study up, apparently. Let's take a look at the linebacker core. The linebackers are supposed to be like a little bit bigger, but obviously these guys aren't actually bigger. Coming in at linebacker one, we have Harry Styles. Ooh, he's got that James Dean daydream look in his eye. That's for sure. 5'11", 160 is what I gathered. I think he's actually thinner than 160, but I couldn't do that. 31, once again, Abilene Christian, who cares? He's a 42 overall, uh, whatever. But of course, yeah, we all know about how they dated for a little bit. This was back when Harry was in One Direction. More like One Erection. <laughs> Coming in at middle linebacker two, we have Taylor Lautner, the other Taylor. <laughs> this Okay, this doesn't look like him at all. There aren't any people in this game that look like Taylor Lautner. Um, also, I didn't get his age. I guess he's 20, but he's not, clearly. Thank fucking God. He's a 37. I guess I made him really shitty. <laughs> Even though like he's in decent shape, but yeah, he's 5'10", 168. These guys are going to look like absolute children. Uh, like literally just they're going to look like children next to Travis Kelsey, who's like 6'5", 250. Coming in at left outside linebacker, we have Jake Gyllenhaal. Boo! Boo! <laughs> I can hear the Swifties just booing from wherever they're watching this. This is as close as I could get to someone who looks like him, but uh, I put a little nose tape thing on him because I don't know. I feel like people would beat him up if they saw him. Coming in at 6 feet, 170, age 43. I think that's how old he actually is. And coming in at right right outside linebacker. I don't know actually who this is. Connor Kennedy, but I, I don't know. I saw that they were dating for a little bit um, related to, I guess, the Kennedy world, the Kennedy family. Um, RFK, I think is his dad or grandpa or something. Anyway, put him in. Uh, 6'2", 183, 29 years old, a little bit younger, 47 overall. Let's keep moving. Looking for him to make some big plays today um, because I'm going to have to remember who he is every single time I say his name. All right, here's where it gets fun. These are the biggest people that Taylor Swift has dated before Travis Kelsey. In football, on defense at least, the defensive line is the biggest set of people, right? So, and in the middle, I have the largest person Taylor Swift has ever dated, Calvin motherfucking Harris. Okay, so <laughs> clearly it does not look like him. We're past that. It's so hard to do this and make him look actually like them. Coming in at six foot five, 201, age 39, we have Calvin Harris clogging up the middle of the field, trying to rush against dudes who are literally like 6'3", 300 pounds. I have a feeling he's going to get pancaked over and over again, and he will be blaming it on the night. At right end, the person who's going to be rushing off of the edge we have tom hiddleston right loki as everyone knows him he is a 45 overall uh six foot two 165 pounds really skinny dude uh for being six two i'm six feet 185 so i weigh 20 pounds more than hiddleston and i'm like two inches shorter and to round out the team of x's dear john john mayer the left and six foot three 190 pounds age 46 he is a 45 overall gonna be rushing from the other side opposite of hiddleston those are the three largest men that taylor has dated calvin harris tom hiddleston and John Mayer. <sighs> <laughs> this is going to be so bad. I'm nervous for like many, many reasons, specifically also just because this is my first ever gaming video. But also like this could be an absolute dud. There's there could be a chance that these guys stop them somehow like immediately. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be providing some commentary while we do this. And of course, I will be playing to ensure that Travis Kelsey gets past the ball basically every single time. I will allow Taylor Swift to scramble, though. That just means that she can run out of the pocket and run for some yards um, if Travis Kelsey is super, super not open, like they have three people on him. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. God, I'm so excited for this. Okay. Woo. Now this team is a 56 overall. So this is going to be an absolute bloodbath. We're going to be seeing red 
everywhere. <laughs> uh, fuck, um, this sucks. I'm also just not good at Madden. Let me preface this right now. And I apologize in advance if the frame rate's kind of bad or if it's not as crispy as you're used to with gameplay. I'm filming this from like an Xbox One original. I got it in 2014 and I'm using a MacBook Pro right now. So like, please, please subscribe and like the video so that I have more of a reason to invest in a new computer and like a full, you know, Xbox One, everything. All right, here we go, baby. Andy Reid. Oh, why are you already pissed? <laughs> All right, millions and millions of Swifties are in attendance for this. Literally every single fan here is a Swiftie because they want to see Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey absolutely rail on her exes. Ooh, all right. There's Jake Gyllenhaal getting wrecked by Midnight's. Oh man, we're already getting the freaking taste of the action. Woo! Look at that, Taylor Swift throwing the passes. All right, here we go. Looks like we're returning the ball first. You can see a lot of them are on special teams. You can see 35, 40, whatever, yeah. All right, here we go, baby. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, don't fumble. Please don't fumble. Please don't fumble. Please don't fumble. Oh, okay, I had a lane. I was gonna score, and then I didn't. That's okay. All right, oh man, I'm excited. Okay, there she is, Taylor Swift. What does coach suggest for us to do? <laughs> coach, please tell us what to do. We're gonna do some bench X dig here, but I'm actually gonna change it up. Here we go, you see Travis Kelsey, number 87. You've got Evermore, you've got self-titled, full floor, and Midnight's. Okay, here, so I'm gonna actually change Midnight's to a full on block. I'm gonna actually audible so that Kelsey is going on an out. And look at all these tiny little guys on the other team. Oh, they're so small, oh, they're so small little ex-boyfriends. All right, pass it out, it's quick. Who's that? Ooh, what a tackle by Lucas Till. What? Whoa, wrapped him up after two yards. That is not gonna cut it. We are gonna like lose immediately if we don't figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna audible out of this play. I, I want us to do a little bit more of a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do more of a bench. Alright, come on, Travis. These guys are tiny. Come on, look at that. Easy, easy. Oh, easy money. Oh, easy money. Look at how tiny they are. Ooh, look at that. That's Zach Efron and Joe Jonas combined to get that tackle. Wow, look at Efron. Oh, look at how tiny Joe is. Oh, I shouldn't be making fun of, like, grown-ass men. Yeah, let's try this. We're just going for some quick gains here. Keep it easy at first. Oh, <gasps> Jake Gyllenhaal with the breakup. Number 40, Jake Gyllenhaal. Let's get a little look at that, actually. Let's get a little instant replay going for that. What the hell? I mean, that was on me too i just i that was a horrible freaking pass horrible idea clearly like you wouldn't actually throw it to kelsey in that situation i'm just only feeding it to him because that is this entire challenge so you can see jake gyllenhaal right here number 40 let me get behind him real quick so you can see his jersey there he is so he is going to come out here and guard kelsey as he turns around oh gets a little caught who is that is that evermore oh evermore trying to do a little block that's probably def like defensive pass interference but obviously madden does not like to call those okay a little slow-mo like right there, they're standing right next to each other. Look at how tiny he is compared to Kelsey. Who's your baby? Who's your little baby? Who's also literally a grown ass man who could beat the shit out of me? Who's your little grown ass man who could beat the shit out of me? And then look, he actually gets in here and just breaks it up. Kelsey didn't even have a chance to get his other hand around. Wow. Let's try a little red red zone HP scissors, a little halfback scissors here. Kelsey will be on an in, a uh, little dig, whatever you want to call it. I don't actually know my route names. Um, but here, oh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, he's rolling over. Who's that? 33, Harry Styles. Whoa, Harry. Here's where we get a little crazy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep Midnight's into block. Uh, Evermore Lover and Folklore can keep doing their thing, but this is going to be a deep route for Kelsey. Let's see if he can get over Zac Efron, I think it is, in the back. Let's see. Get it, get it, get it. Woo, baby. Never had a chance, Zach. Never had a chance, little Efron boy. Uh, once again, I'm gonna keep Midnight's into block. Let's do a quick little pass here. Let's just get some yards. Oh, he's right in front of him. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell just happened? I just got, like, touched by by Tom Hiddleston and then he just sacked me. <laughs> what? Oh, shut up, Tom. All right. I mean, obviously I'm going to take a look at this. What the hell? Kelsey was completely smothered by whoever was guarding him. Let's actually see who that was. So here we see that Kelsey takes the route out and whoever this Jake Gyllenhaal again, dude, what the fuck? It's because I was talking shit earlier. Look at this. He's got him covered like crazy. I would be crazy to pass this right here. And then look, Tom Hiddleston gets like an actually good pass rush off on who is this? This is fearless. Oh man. Fearless lets a sack come through because as you can see, Tom Hiddleston somehow gets so close, he breathes on Taylor Swift, and Taylor Swift just falls down. Like, ooh, ow, ow, and then just falls to the ground, sacked. You know what? Better than a pick. Th that's fine. It's second and goal, though, starting at the 19, so I gotta figure out what's, like, the best play I could possibly do. I think this might be good because Travis Kelsey's going on a little corner route, and I have no faith in Zach Efron being able to, to guard this, so uh, let's see how this works. Come on, baby. Come on, Travis. There we go. Come on, Travis. Woohoo! Ooh! Jake Jill and Hall. Eat my shit, baby. Eat my shit, Jake. Oh, that's for all the Swifties out there. Uh, uh. Fuck the patriarchy, am I right? Whew. 
Oh, he knows that feeling all too well. <laughs> How many Taylor Swift references can I throw into this video? Look at that. Oh, so sexy. Oh, such a nice, oh, perfect. First try was a success. I was a little terrified there, though. All right, we got two minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Let's see, what kind of fun plays can we do here? I see, okay, this one could be fun. Little, little, little play action. We'll get self-titled on a little motion here going across. All right, here we go, here we go. Then we got Travis on an out route. Let's see what happens. Little play action. Oh, easy, easy. Get that, get that. Oh, I thought I could stay in bounds. Oh my gosh, and it's not even a first down. Okay, Zach Efron in coverage couldn't do shit. Let's go for something big here. We we have a second and one, so I think we can go for something a little bigger. Let's try this drag wheel. So this is where, yeah, I'm going to do a little play action. And you can see Travis Kelsey's going to have to do an insane route going all the way around. Um, So I'm going to have to hope that I have enough time. Although, yeah, there should be like no pass rush. Oh, there we go, Travis. There we go, Travis. On the run, on the run. Woo! Ooh, can't tackle this shit. Oh, fucking Jake, dude. Jake Gyllenhaal's everywhere. I mean, you know, he's a strong safety, so it kind of makes sense, you know? Look at that. Flex on him, Travi. Flex on him, baby. All right, let's let's do a couple of little easier plays here. Ooh, we've got the... Okay, so we have Travis Kelsey's X Factor activated. What does that do? Uh, it means that uh, I get additional hot routes and a couple other things. Let me just play this play real quick. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, ooh, good wrap up. Who's that? Oh, Connor Kennedy, the guy I don't know at all. Okay, this one should be interesting. I'm a little nervous about this, so I'm going to keep Midnight's into block. <sighs> He's going over the middle, and I just feel like there's a chance it's going to be really congested. Nope. Oh, Travis. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to turn around. Oh, man. Good thing he's in 99 overall. And these players on the other side are stupid. Celebrate, baby. Celebrate. Whatever the hell this is. Oh, he's kissing. Yeah, yeah. Those are to Taylor. Those are to Taylor. Although she's not in the box watching this game. She's the quarterback. Look at that. Zach Efron, no chance. No shot. Also, fun fact, by the way, in 2017, uh, this is pretty cool. So I do original music. Uh, I do music. That's my thing. Taylor Swift released a public Spotify playlist called Songs Taylor Loves in 2017. And my song, Too Bad, was on there. I get in trouble for your body. I can't have the only one I need. Tell my friends they shouldn't let me be. It was one of the coolest days of my life because I was like taking a nap and I like woke up and I got a bunch of texts being like, hey, did you know that your song's on Taylor Swift's new playlist? And it was like the 17th song on there out of like 100. It was amazing. Um, and it was like a huge confidence booster. And I'm really, really grateful for that. Um, so I'm in some sort of way forever indebted to Taylor Swift. All right. So far, so good. We're into the second quarter. So first quarter, completely fine. Didn't fuck up already. <laughs> okay. Let's try something a little small here, a little short. This will be a quick little pass. Let's hope that none of them can... Uh, can run out to me. Okay, we got someone else on me. Who the heck is number nine? Number nine, you are not supposed to be out here. Williams. Oh my lord, that's Jameson Williams. That's their <laughs> that's their wide receiver playing because I guess the depth chart is so limited. I can't make it so that literally no one will play. But yeah, it looks like Jameson Williams is now in the game. Um, oh no, I'm gonna I'm gonna scramble. I'm gonna scramble. Come on, Taylor. Oh, baby. All right. Heck yeah, baby. All right. Look at that, doing a little. Wah. All right, let's get... Okay, he's on press, so he's going to press around whoever 27 is. I think that's Till. Lucas Till. Easy, easy. Okay, Jameson, get off the field. Bro, <laughs> dude, what are you doing? Like, why are you in on every play now? This isn't the Jameson Williams video. This is the Travis Kelsey versus all of his exes video. Okay, do I see Jameson? I don't see him. Thank God. All right, here we go. But I do see another guy in the middle there. That's okay, whatever. All right, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Harry Styles with his first tackle? Wow. Let's actually change this up. Let's do a little out route here for Travis. I think whoever C is, like whoever the person being marked there is, I think it's... Who is that? Who is that? Who are you? Who are you? 29. Oh, it's Joe Jonas. Oh, get wrecked, Joe. <laughs> Jameson Williams tried to make the play, but uh, yeah, Joe Jonas getting absolutely wrecked. Third touch. Ooh, do it. Give it to him. Give it to him. This one was pretty easy. Just give it to him. Joe Jonas, not fast enough or big enough to just kind of handle, you know, his little legs could not catch with Travis. Oh yeah, Taylor. There you go. Beat your chest. This is what? The fourth the fourth possession here? We'll do a little scat. This game, this play is called scat. Uh, there's another word for poop. Um, specifically, I think like animal poop, like bat poop. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Easy, easy. Perfect. Oh, <gasps> oh get the... Oh, no. Travis. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Travis just fumbled. Travis, we didn't even make it through the first half. Dude, look at this. Okay, let's see if this is even legit. Jake Gyllenhaal with the strip. I was talking mad shit. Oh no, we gotta see another replay of that. God damn, Travis, really? He coughed up the ball to Jake Gyllenhaal of all people. One of probably the most hated Taylor Swift exes. All right, let's see how this goes. 
right? So we got bumped right here. That's a little bit of pass interference. Who is that? It kind of bumped him. Harry Styles. All right, fine, Harry. Get out of the way. Leave the route as it was. See, look, okay, perfect. Good catch, right? Oh, he does a little skip, a little weird little like skip thing. And here comes Jake, right? So he gets a little sandwich here. Who's this? This is 29. Joe Jonas comes in. Okay, a little bit of a boom. And then, yeah, just he knocks it. Let me get a little closer here. He knocks it out. There's nobody around to to pick it up. That's so unfortunate. And look, Zac Efron's here. He's is he the one to pick it up? Nope, it's still rolling around. Is it Joe's? He goes for he lunges for it and he, he dives at nothing. <laughs> OK, well, that's stupid. And it is Zac Efron who picks it up. Wow. And then he gets immediately tackled by folklore. Oh, that's funny. OK. <sighs> Okay. Okay, they're reviewing it. Okay, this is actually under review. There's a chance that this is not a fumble. <sighs> Come on, please. Overturned! Oh my gosh! I thought the challenge was over. That was, in fact, not a fumble, apparently, according to the game. Oh my... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking lucky. Travis, you are so lucky. Taylor, you're so lucky. Oh, okay. I don't see Travis open. I'm going to go for it. <sighs> Taylor gets a little rush. Little rush. It counts. That counts. Taylor Swift can scramble. I've already given myself that freedom. Okay, two minute warning. Dude. <laughs> my balls just like went up through into like my freaking bladder, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. Empty backfield. We got everybody out there. We got Midnight's Folklore, Kelsey Evermore, and Lover. Here we go. All right. Kelsey, over the middle. Yep, easy. All right, perfect, perfect. Let's see if we can make a man miss. Ooh, made a man miss. Ooh, okay, who's 37? 37 got a good tackle there. I think that's, um, I can't tell. I don't care. I don't really care. All right, all right, let's go back to the basics. Let's go back to something a little easier. Dude, that was terrifying. I've never seen Travis Kelsey cough the ball like that. All right, here we go. There it is. Yeah, baby. All right, boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Double! Oh my gosh, Zac Efron and uh, and Lucas Till just got absolutely dicked down. Oh man, yeah, we got to see that again. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, let's see this. Let's see this, Travis. Let's see you. Let's see you in all your glory. Look at this. All right, slow it down. Slow it down here. So good catch. Turn it up field. And then who is this right here? This is oh, this is Jake Gyllenhaal. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> so he is too slow. So he's not going to matter. So we go up even further. You see Travis Kelsey come in. Here is Lucas Till. He's like, oh, I'm going to get you. Lucas Till walks up and he goes, you belong with me, Travis. You belong with me. E -E. You belong with me. And here we go. Here we go. Goes for this little tackle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look <laughs> at Jake Gyllenhaal coming at the end here. Oh, that's so funny. Look at this. Look at this. Wee! So Gyllenhaal jumps over Till, who gets absolutely destroyed. Here comes Zac Efron to save the day. I put I put these little things on Zac Efron, like little arm straps, so that you can kind of tell that they're him. But yeah, so Zac Efron's just like, oh, that's so funny. Look at that. Oh, man. And then just boom. Easy for Travis. I mean, he's, he's, he's 6'5", 250. These guys have no freaking shot. Okay. This play is like normally really good, but I'm a little nervous. I think that's Harry Styles in the middle. Uh, we haven't seen anything from Taylor Lautner yet. There we go, Travis. Ooh, bad throw, but hey, get it through. Fucking Jake. <laughs> he's everywhere. But yeah, look at that was a horrible throw because I got hit. Uh, who did I, who did Taylor get hit by? Actually, I want to see that. It's not Calvin Harris. Is it Kennedy here? Yeah. Okay. So Kennedy comes in here up against uh, Reputation. Oh yeah. Reputation's really bad. I forgot about that. Yeah. Reputation's bad. Reputation gets beat here. You see this? Midnight's is like, oh, I'll help. I'll help. Just kidding. And then fucking Connor Kennedy, just as he's still being held by Reputation, <laughs> affects the throw and it comes out bad. Just gives a little, gives a little hug. He's like, hey baby, I miss you. I miss you so much. I'm crying like a little baby on the floor. <laughs> Fuck. All right, I'm hoping before the half ends here, I'm gonna get a little score here with Travis. I'm gonna get a little, little slant. Give him the slant. Oh my god, is that fucking Jake Gyllenhaal again, dude? Number forty, Jake Gyllenhaal, just being an absolute menace right now. All right, we got goal line looks here. We gotta hurry up though. Second and goal. Thirty seconds left in the game. Clock's obviously stopped because the incomplete pass. All right, easy. Oh, easy. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> you were looking the other way, my man, number 33, Harry Styles, looking the other way. Maybe it's because the ground here looks a little bit like watermelon sugar. That one fucking sucked. All right. All right, into the second half. 6.51 left in the third quarter. Let's see what we can do here. All right, I'm going to give Travis Kelsey like a fun little corner route here. Let's see if anything happens on this. Let's see how open he gets. Oh, he's actually not. He's double covered. Double coverage. Oh, oh he stripped it out. What? What? What was that? <laughs> Okay, so obviously incomplete pass, but like I have to look at that. What the hell just happened on that? Okay, obviously he's in like triple coverage, but these guys are scrubs. These are like literal non-football players. So you see you got Zach Efron here in the front. He's like actually covering pretty well. And then who is this? That's Joe Jonas, number 29. The ball gets floated in. And look at look at how high he goes. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh, it looks like they're worshiping him. <laughs> I gotta get a screenshot. So he catches it, 
comes down. Efron gets a hand on it. It like goes through the ball, but you know, video games, whatever. He goes to the ground and then the ball comes out and then it bounces off of his leg or it's like just resting on his leg. And he's like, oh, he's, he's, it's between his legs. <laughs> I mean, I got to get another screenshot, dude. <laughs> Pooped your pants, huh? And then it just it just stays there. It just he like he's holding it, but he doesn't want to grab it. And then Harry goes for his pee pee, tries to get the ball and it just goes incomplete. And then Joe Alwyn kicks it. What a crazy play. I'm a little nervous about this one. Having Kelsey just go over the middle like this. Come on. Ooh, close. Harry Styles does tackle him, though, but that was that was a close one. Taylor Swift, 19 for 22, 278 yards and four touchdowns. Ah, all of them to Travis Kelsey, of course. Ooh, here. This is one of my favorites. This is Stick Nod. Travis is going to do this weird zigzag, little lightning bolt thing, and hopefully have a bit of an open, you know, area in the middle here. Oh, he's wide open. He's wide open. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, come on. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. No, 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 no. Not today, exes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, baby. <sighs> All right. We're looking good. Scary moment so far. That fumble and then that almost fumble was just, just too, too nuts. All right. Let's flip some of these plays. Let's get some stuff going on the left side here. I think maybe that's why we haven't seen certain people. I've hardly seen Taylor Lautner. I don't think I've seen him on the field at all. So let's see what happens here. Travis Kelsey going out the left. Over the head. Oh! <gasps> Lucas Till with the pick. I could not float it over him. <laughs> I mean, that's on me. Obviously, like, <laughs> I suck, but like, I got to see that again. So obviously, does a little bit of a shimmy there. And then look, I feel like there's enough room here for the ball to kind of come in right behind, like right in this area. But then Lucas Till plays this like a god. Look at him. He's like a 46 overall. I mean, this ball was also just horribly underthrown. You can see where Kelsey is and where the ball goes. He's right here, right behind Midnight's. And Midnight's just is like, huh? And then the ball goes up and he's like, oh, you belong with me. And then he just runs it back. Oh my gosh. And then obviously he gets tackled. But like, dude, challenge failed. Absolute heartbreaker here for the Swifties. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try one more thing just because I think it'd be kind of fun. I want to see Travis Kelsey go for like the longest possible vertical just to see like how far he'll go. Ooh. Oh no. Aggressive catch. Get it. Oh. <laughs> Joe Jonas with the hit. He was like, boom. Travis Kelsey on this long run, right? You know, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. And then Joe Jonas just comes out of nowhere right here. And he's just like, oh, I'm burning up. And he just freaking knocks it out. Wow. I cannot believe I failed. Like, I, well, I suck at Madden. So maybe that's why. I mean, if anything, it means I don't have to edit so much more of this video. I mean, it looks like I'll have to try this challenge again. And maybe I can add something. Maybe I can do something fun. Leave some like comments down below because obviously this is a new channel. All right, let's look at the final stats. I'm so like embarrassed. Okay. All right. Taylor Swift went two for 25 for 346 yards, five touchdowns to one interception. Oh, heartbreaker. Did have a QBR of 141.7. <sighs> And then let's see Travis Kelsey. Let's see it. 20 for 346 and five touchdowns. Did have one drop, though. I think that was the one that was just like in his butthole, you know? So maybe I'm going to have to do it again. I'm going to have to do it again with like another addition to it or like some sort of other caveat. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. This is obviously a new endeavor for me into the gaming world. I have a new channel for it. So if you wouldn't mind pressing that like button and, and subscribing, I very much would appreciate that. I have so many more ideas with regard to Madden, but with regard to also just a billion different things, lots of computer games. I have some really fun interesting ways I can have my girlfriend be involved in some of these videos, um, you know, and stuff like that. So I very much appreciate it. And um, I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Swifties, again, I'm so sorry. And also, fuck Jake Gyllenhaal in this game. Um, and specifically Lucas Till also. Didn't even see Taylor Lautner. And I don't know if John Mayer and uh, Calvin Harris even made much of an impact. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Oh, man, I really want this to be part of my life moving forward. I just fucking love video games, dude. I love doing this dumb shit. It took so long for me to set this up. But at the same time, time it was so rewarding <sighs> until next time you nerds bye, bye.